always well hung, just like Cameron Sack can do. That's a unit. A kit. Total A kit. So. <laughs> Alright. Have you seen this thing? What, is nuts hanging out? <laughs> uh, he hasn't yeah. seen the other one. Oh my god. Dude. I just want the camera to see the facial reaction because his facial reaction is going to be the same of every He's man. He's going to show you a picture of his dick. Oh. <laughs> no. no. Every man that has looked at it goes. Hmm. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> He's really not wrong. So. Right. I'm not. Yeah, you're going to be like, you're going to respect it. Oh boy, here we go. This is mid moto in Detroit, by the way. Unreal. <laughs> How this happens, I don't know. Can you respect that? You gotta give it to him. That's that's one way to that's one way to really lay on the line right there. Don't worry, you can't say anything that has not already been said, no, so it's fine. It's fine. All right. Well, there are more puns coming. All right. Yeah, oh yeah. Don't Let's, worry. Uh, the rest of you said girl. Let's. Uh, Speaking of which. <laughs> All right. Oh, we'll get into that. Not let's, the first spot uh, time one's been real by the way. Let's uh, let's jump into this here. So Jet Lawrence wins two in a row. Uh, I said at? this last year. Yeah. What? what do you want to talk about now? Let's I just start said, off with him because he was a little upset last time when we said he might. We delayed We delayed the inevitable and now we are here. I, there's just something different about him. Real good. Let, I will say, say last night, I was much happier because the interviews were much more. Are you texting over there? Like no, man. My hands are dry. Can you? I don't know what to do with my hands. My hands are super <laughs> dry, bro. What do I do? Yeah, what do I do with my hands? <laughs> what do I do with this? No, man, I use lotion this morning. Mm -hmm. Been jerking off with no lube is what's been no, happening. No, man, just spit. Whatever. All right. Anyways, what? <laughs> anyway, hey, no, no talking like that. There are people that want to listen oh, to this with I know, their kids. With their kids, I know. All right, go. Come on. Anyway, come on. um, dude, I mean, we delayed the inevitable, and now inevitably, Gets he went. He wins this title. That's all there is to it, man. We'll like see. maybe. I mean, that's a lot. That's a big bold jump right there. Maybe. Well, he, I mean, he might have won last night, but he didn't. He doesn't just win the title. He got a long fucking way to go. Second place. I mean, he's, uh, Coop's ten points down. Uh, thirteen. Okay, I mean he's thirteen down. Doesn't have the raw speed. He doesn't has, have the raw speed. Have it. It's gonna be one of those chasing down late. And last night would have been those opportunities, and there wasn't. He was had he had all the level. opportunity to do a Cooper Webb Web move last night, oh, and tried. I really thought we were gonna see it because oh, he, tried. Okay, he was tried. within two seconds with ten minutes to go. And then you know what? It just opened up and opened up and opened up. And every time he would run a lap and get a little closer, they'd put it on the pit board, and then Jet would get that four seconds again. Like, it just happened. And, like, you know, I heard Jason Thomas talk about this this week. They all are telling themselves things that they want to tell themselves to try to make themselves feel better about the situation. And it was only proven last night when you, the heat race we're watching right now, when Webb tried to T-bone him in that 90, I mean, that's desperation right there. Well, That's what it is. It's, it's did you hey see kid, why he did that, though? Like, it, I don't think it's it was... It's desperation. That's all there is But to I don't it. think that had anything to do with everybody thinking what it was. If you go back and look at that, I think he got pissed. Jet moved over on him. He did. And yeah, that's yeah. why I think Coop... I think that. everybody is under that impression that Coop... When I saw that, my immediate reaction didn't go, like they said in the booth, and I, did, I completely disagree with Weege. Oh, he's trying to show him a little bit of like, hey, the yeah. old guard. He kind of crossed, he crossed over on him, and I think it pissed Coop off. And he's like, all right, kid. Yeah. Like whether That's he, what I saw. yeah, I didn't see. Oh, Coop is trying to. He's trying to show Jet. I'm like, oh, he just didn't like that Jet moved over on him. Whether you know it happened that way in his mind or not, he's in the heat of the moment. Yeah. But like, had Jet not done that, I don't think Coop tries to run it in on him in that left hander. I think he drops in behind him and follows through. I think he got pissed. Yeah, I think but that's all there is to it. I'm not buying into like oh Coop's because like Coop just doesn't try to tee off on people. That's the best part about Cooper Webb though is that he's a saber tooth fucking tiger, right? And that's yeah, man, that's I mean, why like for well, you guys are saying like they didn't have to and this and that. Well, the whole beauty of you guys are saying he fucking he oh Jack just won the championship. No, so Cooper Webb comes in and tee bones him on purpose because he's gonna because he's a fucking tiger. Then he's then he's back in the look Jet. I mean he tee boned Jet and Jet didn't move. Well, yeah, <laughs> I mean, here, here's why. Well, he also had to rush that because he was too far back. Like, he was either going to, he could have, if he really wanted to hit him, he could have took them both out. But yeah, like, yeah, like here's my thing. That. Like, okay, yeah, like, Jet moved over on that. Okay, that's fine, whatever. And, yes, I agree with you. Like, Webb doesn't just go T-bone people, but at the same time, they're all desperate because they all, the writing's on the wall here. I don't think And we're going to run down every one of these guys, and I'm going to tell you why they will not. See, I disagree. Him in this title. I disagree with the fact that guys like Eli and Chase are telling themselves, like maybe Coop because Coop doesn't have the raw speed. Look, Chase look. and Eli in their minds know that when they're on, they can run his speed. Chase has a mental block. Chase will never beat him. Yeah, I disagree with that. Chase, 
Nate, that's a bull. Nate, Nate one time I don't chase his fucking beat I don't, I don't, I don't since care. last summer. He well, has it. I don't know. Here's where I'm I don't, at. I don't care. Somebody that. made a comment in the comment section, and they were absolutely right. Jet completely... He beat de- both motos at Charlotte, bro. Jay, what are you talking about? Jet completely destroyed him mentally last year. He walked away from him year. both motos at Charlotte last year. Yeah. Like, Okay. You just one, asked me when did okay. you just asked you didn't he just one, ask me did, when did he beat him? One, what the fuck? I did. Are one, you fucking kidding me? One, one race. Anyway, all right. So here's here's what I've been seeing. In but my, wait, my oh, crystal ball. But wait, there's more. But wait, there's more. Did he, did Chase get the start on him in those Charlotte motos? I don't remember. I don't Probably. think it matters. He still walked away from him. Okay. Literally every week somebody gets like I'll go back and watch it. I, I can go back. I can go back to the triple crown at, at A two, and Jet didn't get the start needed. Win. Nobody has passed Jet. You do realize that, right? I'm pretty sure they passed. Unless he sure crashes, Ma- I'm pretty sure Malcolm and Jet and Anderson unless passed he, him. In unless he, he crashes in a main, or not, they, they do not pass him. Yeah, because he gets the whole side of wins. So yeah, because he gets the start. So here's where I'm at, though. Is what? Well, what's Tomac? Twenty down now. Yeah. Yeah. Full race down. Third, third place is twenty. Yep. Yeah. No, yeah, Chase is third. Sexton, Sexton's so, 20 and Tomac 25. Mm-hmm. So here's where I'm at. 823. He's 10 he's, out. He threw two away, essentially, mm-hmm. two wins away. He's still yeah. 10 out. Um, okay, you're sitting here talking about, oh, yeah, Tomac can run with him one day, or maybe Sexton can run with him one day. But guess what? That motherfucker's still going to make his way up to third. He's already proved that he can make his way at least to fourth, fifth, third. Mm-hmm. That's all he needs. Which, so. which nobody else is really making bold statements like that. I just, I don't agree with the fact that all these guys, same thing with Kenny, all these guys are telling themselves that they're scared because these guys are champions. And they're, they're not, they're not telling themselves that. It's, they're having a hard time, I think, accepting that, like, this is... This is like when McGrath This is the in. torch being passed. And yeah. everybody just needs to accept it. I don't want to accept it. I don't want to see the kid go and dominate and have another Villapoto era... Another Ricky era. That shit was boring, dude. The rest of the year is going to be boring. Look at the whole first half of the season. In this, in this class? I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that at all. Who's our next winner? Uh, well, it depends. I don't at this point. Because we'll get, we'll get, we'll get to we'll that. We'll into a triple crown. But... We'll, go, we'll get to that when we talk about Chase, the way he rode in that heat race. Yep. Same thing with, like, Eli, the way he rode in the heat race. Did Eli not win that heat race? He, he, he got sure the start. Did. Okay, they but he, had, he, did like... ride, he didn't ride in the main like he did in the heat race. And Sexton's wife looked like dog shit in the main. So but, like, he goes to the heat race, and I was literally sitting there going, and I didn't put well, it in. Well, there it is, the right there. There was the cross jump. Yeah, well, yeah. Out my way. And he didn't, and it's not like Coop even ran it in that hard. He missed time coming out of the rhythm. Whatever. He was leaned over. So, right. my point my point is is that, yes, Jet Road, great. He's probably going to win this title now because he has a double-digit gap. But I disagree. <laughs> Bless you. I disagree with this whole thing about all these guys are acting like they can't beat him. Now, whether they beat him and they beat him for a title, okay, fine. That's cool. But I can point to a lot of situations where if a guy gets a start and he rides like he did, yes, Jet puts... Watch. Oh, they're not even going to show it. See, fucking Coop even missed time and ran out of a break. Yeah, he, ran, he overshot so, it. So, uh, uh, yeah, I now seeing at that point... I don't, anyways, Coop, maybe, because Coop doesn't have the outright speed. I don't... Like, I, I don't even know if Pomac has the outright speed. So this is something that I watched on the, not, on the oh, broadcast. They showed the segment uh, head-to-head at Daytona. I haven't seen it for this one. Yeah. Yet, the segment thing, thing is fucking amazing to see that because they were identifying the gains that Jet made by quieting in mm-hmm. and then where Tomac was six seconds a lap faster in the rest of the track, like over the, the course of the main. So I was like, wow, that's really interesting to I see. Just, that. I'll just beg. i just ask the question, and then I'm going to get off this because everybody already thinks I'm a Jet hater and all this kind of shit. If you Are look you? At, if Might as well go all in. If you look at the... <laughs> The way Kenny rode at Glendale, and you look at the lap times, and then you look at the way Eli rode at the end of Arlington, and then you look at uh, the way Chase rode in his heat race and so-and-so, you can you honestly sit there and believe that if they ride like that, they can't beat Jet? I'm not saying he won't get then that's all, that's all gonna, Then that's all my point is, is that I don't agree with the fact of that all of a sudden Jet's just going to go on this win streak, and he's never going to get beat again, or he can't get beat. He's probably going to win this title. Okay, cool. That's fine. I've lived through a lot of these dominant generations. It's fine. It happens. And there's going to be someone eventually that's going to come up and be better than Jet. Yes. It's just the natural evolution of sport. That's how it works. But I don't like the fact that we're that everybody's already acting like Jet's just never going to lose and he's never going to do this. Because I look at the way Chase rode in the heat race. I think Chase rides like that in the main. He with can a, beat the way Jet rode. Yes. Same thing, Glendale. Jet was not faster than the way Kenny rode. And I believe that had Jet started with Kenny at Glendale... Kenny wins. 
I wonder like, if Kenny started up, up front yesterday. Yeah. Is Kenny is Kenny in the mix? I mean, I don't know. Because he was coming through the pack yeah, like a motherfucker. I mean, and the way yeah, Arlington ended out front managing. And the way Arlington see that's that whole thing. Everybody likes to do that managing thing. But we've seen enough now yeah, what right happens when Jet when Jet he turns it up. Last, he talked about it in his interview with Mathis on a post race pod. He's like, I knew Coop's good at the end of the race. I put one in in the middle just to get a cushion. Just Here's the thing though. Like he, he what just, happens when Jet has turned it up this season? What has happened to him? I don't think we've seen him turn it up. Have we? I disagree with no. that completely. I don't think we've seen. Him you don't it. think him coming through the pack? He wasn't turning it up. I don't think we've seen him turn it up all the way. I yeah, because think. he can't. I think he crashes as he turns it up. Mm. Because he's never had to. He doesn't know what it's like to go 100%. And I don't think he will go 110% because I think he's got that VRM, son. Mm -hmm. Not about that. Jet? Either. He's crashed too many times. Just because you have two races in the bag that you haven't crashed doesn't mean He was mean also have... talking about how he broke down that crash in the whoops. He was talking about they put uh, 13 pounds or something in the front tire, and he was used to running 11. He runs 11 and a half. <laughs> Holy shit, that's so, flat. That's a flat tire right there. So, mm -hmm. I know people that used to so run the way it Johnson's rebounded in the whoops. Wow. Is what cost him? That's interesting. I haven't heard him talk about that. About, yeah. He's like, yeah, I usually run eleven and a half, and then we ran something different or something that night. So since you're since you're not you're not necessarily saying he loses, but you're not saying that this whole thing is basically over. No. Do the points get any closer than what they are right now? Yeah, I think, dude, we go to the triple. What happens if we go to the triple crown and he rides like he did at A two? What happens if we go to the triple crown and he fucking wins? When's the last time he's won a triple crown? Last year. When? When did he win the triple he crown won last the year? Last one last year on the two fifty. Yeah. Where? Wherever the hell it was. That was the only one. Wherever the last one was on the two fifty, because he finally put it together. He won the last triple crown Where, on the two fifty. That's what I'm at year. because he didn't. He didn't win the first one of the year at A two. He got screwed at that one. The one that Levi won, which was Glendale. And then what was the other one? I don't remember the. Other. I know what the triple crown is, but I'm having a hard time remembering what race that is. From last year, the la the one you're talking about that he won. Bring it up, because I'm I, I'm not I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just having a hard time remembering what what is race that even was. I, don't think I, don't know. I just think he's doing his homework a little more than those guys too. Like I seen, they had a great right in the semi, and he was doing practice starts off a of great underneath the awning in the semi. I saw that. Like shit, like that. Uh. Would I know have, what you're talking would about. Would it have been Glendale? No, Kitchen won that one. Last year? Yeah. No. Jet won that. Glendale? Which one was Kitchen won? Kitchen won a race last year, and it was a up. triple crown. I'm not looking up Kitchen right now. Kitchen won... Did Kitchen race West last year? Yeah. He won Anaheim something. A2? Yeah. Okay. Jet won Glendale last year. So you're talking year. about... Okay, so Glendale. All right. Yeah, so Jet won Glendale. I thought he crashed the first couple of them. I, I sent a video of your waffles, Grips, by the way, to a group Okay. Chat. Yeah, okay, and he could go and win, but what if he doesn't? Okay. I'm just saying. David Mates. <laughs> Get what? Your grips gave him AIDS. Oh, that's, that's unfortunate. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, like I said, I like look. It's just the inevitable is just happening here. It's all there. It's all there is to it. I'm, and again, I'm not saying he won't get beat. What's the inevitable? Because you and I don't see eye to eye in this. That he's gonna dominate and fucking end up winning the next however many titles in a row. Maybe. Like so you we, think he's gonna get 68 more? Maybe. I don't know about that. Maybe. I don't know who beats him after Tomac exits. And like he'll lose races. There's gonna yeah, be races that things races. are gonna pop up. He'll crash. Well, Hurling whatever. comes over and rides outdoors. He'll, I don't know. After Hur watching the GP today, it did not look good for him. Dude, even Hurling here. said he doesn't want anything. To yeah, do I that. told you about that, and then I also told you what he said at the end of the video when he's 100. percent I do. Whatever, man. I'm not gonna get into that whole thing. You guys think it's not gonna happen? I do. I know that Jack can get beat. I've seen. No, I'm God. talking about Hurling's coming over. Oh, is yeah. He, yeah, he's gonna yeah, come he's over, and when he does, if he's 100, percent he'll beat him. I don't know. Bro, he's coming back after being off for how long and almost being fucking paralyzed. Like he's not the same guy. Uh, yeah, he I starts guess. off and he builds. And that's his why I don't think he's. And what did you did you watch the GPS last year? What day. happened when he got it? When he got back to one hundred percent, he won everything, and then he got hurt again. And he read it until no, he, he didn't fucking. That wasn't like a normal hurling's crash. So you think he beats him like a moto? No, I think I'll go get, with that. I think he could beat him for a championship. Well, yeah, no, yeah, way. Way. nope, not a chance. I my thing is just like. Here's the thing. It, it's getting a little scary looking forward because once Tomac exits, Roxon's on the tail end of his career. This isn't and peak. Like, this isn't peak. Who's jet. there? This nah. is not peak Jet. On I think. A 450 he, I think. He, I think he's close. Anderson's on his way out. Anderson's going. He's a he's a rookie. He's not a rookie and he's anymore. Stop doing that. Just, Stop doing that. Just, just Prado is he twenty one? Yeah, I think Prado could. 
Because Prado gets starts all the time. But I don't think Prado runs with him indoors. I don't think. No, pra- I don't well, think. I don't think Prado runs with him outdoors the first year either. I no, think because that's we've, be seen different it, we've seen it. Down the road like, we've who seen it. Yeah. We've seen. We've seen. We've seen it takes guys time to adapt to American culture. Give Prado a year over here. Yeah, because you don't want to know the difference between Prado and everybody else in the world. He's just as good a starts as Jet is. And Prado likes to sprint away. So here's the thing. He would make Jet have to go into the red to catch him. And maybe Jet catches him. But Jet's just not going to be able to lounge around in fucking seventh or eighth while Prado's out with a 20-second gap on lap five. I mean, here's the thing. I've heard every GP guy from you is going to come over here and just lay wood to our guys. And the only one who's done it was Hurlings in Iron Man in 2000 wait, or whatever wait, whoa, it was. Whoa, end of the season. Whoa, whoa, yeah, whoa, at the whoa, end whoa, of the whoa, year. Whoa, fuck off, fuck off. What are, you oh, talk, what are you talking about, guys, GP? How many GP Every GP, GP guy is going to come over Kyrolls. here and uh, just lay wood to our do you guys. Do want to name all the GP time. guys that Is this not true? You want me to name all the GP guys that have become champions when they come over? Is here? this not true? Like you're talking, there's a lot of factors here, <laughs> but the way you're talking is that a GP guy is going to come here and win right away. And what Justin is about to combat you with <laughs> is that the guys have come here adapted and, and then, then won. won. And yeah. then you guys are going to fight in a circle and go nowhere, <laughs> and then we're going to be fucked for 10 minutes. <laughs> That's what's going to happen. He's, he's yeah, actually 100% right. Because yeah. I'm going to lay facts. Every GP guy that has been After chilling. they've adapted. Yeah. And then he's going to lay facts about somebody that's come here and won right off the bat. And nobody's come here and won right off the bat. Sorry. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, saying, you're, yeah you're pretty much right. Yeah, <laughs> he I'm just not, saved us ten okay. minutes. Yeah, I'm. I'm not like, oh, he's gonna come Bale. in and win right away. Good thing I'm here. Fuck. Porcel. Frenchy. Porcel won right away. Porcel won, 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 won right away. JMB, fucking Roncada, Villeman, Mikel Pichon. Roncada didn't win shit. Mikel Pichon, Sebastian Tortelli, Grant Langston, what do we got Tyler Rattray, Ben Townsend. What do we got in the last 10 years? What? Let's go with the last 10 years. Dylan, Marv, Kenny. Okay. So I just named fucking three. Not first year right off I'm not that. saying first year. Okay. No, yeah, that's Dylan. where he was trying it to go Dylan. with it. It took the, Dylan a lot of That's years. where he was trying to go with it, and that's where you guys always are trying to fucking double knot and tie your shoes. <laughs> <laughs> That's where I get like, okay, even if, uh, what's his I mean, name? I'm pretty sure I just named three of the guys that have dominated. Even, still roll. Even, yeah. even when Prado comes over, I give him at least two or three years outdoors before he fully adapts and is like, okay, cool. I am two. And that is two. if, I am that two. is if he stays One healthy through Supercross. He doesn't get hurt. Which is doubtful. He doesn't get hurt. He's literally never gotten hurt in his he entire career. He has run all yeah, season yeah, Supercross. Yeah. Yeah. He also is not going to push over his limit and okay. hit the deck. You kind of need one season to get a feel of all the tracks, because until you go, yeah, out, for sure. Like, Jet's just not pushing over his limit either. He's still crashing. So because Jet fucking rides and a Jet's lot been on riding muscle cross for. Six I know. Years I know now. who's gonna dethrone Jet. Just to let you guys know in 2026. He's 38. Fucking, he's gonna no. come in. Oh no way. Anyways, all right, let's get over it because I'm just I'm I'm over this. Uh, one, one, hold on. Somebody outrageous. Hold on. Yeah, no, it was actually uh, one uh, last David Pulley. Well, yeah, one last thing with uh, Jet here. How about that incident with him and Ando in that practice start, and then Ando throwing his hands up because he ran into the back of him? Like, yeah, there was a lot of that going on yeah, last night. I thought night. maybe there was an Ando, like, like, a, like, hey, my bad? Or was it like, hey, why'd you hit the brakes? I don't know. I, don't know. <laughs> I think that was a pissy hands, and I'm like, bro, you ran in. Like, you can watch. Jet was just was Jet pinch. was just in the straight line, and then you're, like, turning right and then run right into his ass. Get, he yeah. was just... In his ass. He was in his ass. Like, and, uh, but yeah, Jet was, like, doing those triples, like, late in the main with the ruts and stuff. Like, that was, like... Where was the quad he said he tried to do? Did anybody... Because he said that in the podium interview. They sneakily tried to do, like, a quad somewhere over here. Came up way short. Mm. I don't know where it was. It's not come up short on a few things, but I don't okay, know. Okay, well, that, that's so. some dumb shit that might take him out, but... <laughs> well, we've seen um, that already this year, too. Anyway. Which could uh, happen. That's the biggest thing, is... I don't know, man. He got out front and just did what he does. Yep. Managed. Anyway, okay. Uh, second place, Cooper Webb. There, Cooper Webb avoided everything, even a monster chick. But the Alabama <laughs> State Police. Do you see I that? That he got pulled over. To. <laughs> That's awesome. He <laughs> definitely, like, kudos to him for getting around that monster chick too. Holy, Holy shit! Right what out. a situation. Holy! You shit. imagine if you would have hit her and Jets out fucking twenty points, <laughs> dude, from a monster chick. From a monster chick. <laughs> Can you imagine? The monster <laughs> chick helped the Red Bull guy pull a twenty point lead. Like what? That would be WWE what? level entertainment right we there. Will, like, you got to rigged at that. We point. will talk more about the monster chick. We can talk about it right now because it has to do with Webb, so we might as well cover it here. I mean, can you imagine if he knocked her over and she was just out there like a, another breaking bump? Yeah, unbelievable. <laughs> 
who the fuck told her, sorry, who the frick told her that it was okay to go across the track like that? I don't and think we well, are already on the track. Well, and she said, and she said, did you see the Dirt Shark video? Oh, uh, I think I lost her brain cell. Where she said, well, I, I'd done it twice already that night. What? <laughs> you don't get to cross a hot track? It's unbelievable. It's and unbelievable. She was like she carrying was like three boards. She had, yeah, she had all the boards. You want to know why? Because it was the end of the night. If I pack these up, I can go home. I don't understand where this crossing track thing is because where she got hit was in the first corner where she stands at. So she was still hold, standing there holding the boards. She was just, oh, yeah, I got to get off the track. No, now. so what they do is the boards are kept under the manager's tower there. Yeah. Okay, so she had the electronic one because it was the main. She d put that down. She went over to the manager's tower. And again, you didn't see this on TV, but I know how these chicks work. So she went over to the manager's tower, grabbed the static 30 second board that they use during the heats and stuff. And then that's why she had both of them because she was carrying them. She, she was taking them back to the truck. Yeah, or whatever. to put them away was what was going to happen. And then, you know, 450s are just so much faster than everybody else. So I just, all of a sudden, there were just bikes there. Like, I didn't hear them. I didn't see them. Like, nothing, because you can't hear that in a The stadium. race director said left, and I thought he meant the other left. And uh, it's <laughs> unbelievable. That was just, that I was, was, I was like, I couldn't believe it. I was like, I, no way, no way. Craziest thing I've ever seen in my life. I, like, have, we, have you guys ever seen this no. in all your years? No, I've been I'm waiting for it, though. <laughs> waiting I went, I've been for waiting for it. Like, this season is delivering as far as, like, Every week. McAdoo's unit, <laughs> uh, <laughs> the monster chick, like, all the puns with the monster chick have been... I haven't heard these. All I've seen was just a huge lawsuit had she got clipped. I was oh. just seeing a huge fucking lawsuit. I mean, I'm sure she yeah. signed a waiver. Yes. A lawsuit by what? Though she somebody would have figured out for her to sue somebody. I don't know. Either way, I've seen some Trust comments. Me, it would like, happen. Seen some comments. Uh, somebody posted the video and was like, "He was out there. What are you doing?" <laughs> <laughs> and then one was uh, not the first time a monster chick has gotten railed by a whole line of horses. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, awesome. I mean, there yeah, was one very popular one was with us one time. Uh, I wasn't involved in that part of it, but she was with Dan. Well, I guess I'll blow this part out. But Dan Reardon was pitted next to us. He's mm -hmm. an Aussie with a hell of an accent. Mm-hmm. So, uh... Hell of a ride. A very famous Miss Supercross was around. Oh, uh, Diana Dogger? And that oh. sucks. <laughs> Chad, don't say that to her husband. She'll kill you. Well, that girl sucks. Who? Diana Dogger. You don't like her? She sucks. Why do you not like her? Dude, some of the dumb shit she says on social media... Like, like, Where is that? She's not a fan. Yeah. Well, at least... And she thinks she's, like... She thinks her shit don't stink. And it probably stinks really bad. Jesus God! All right. Uh, anyway, anybody got anything to say about Webb? He's the only contender left. How about two clowns, same He's outfit. So good. Jesus. Give Cooper Webb a start. Let's see what happens. Because 18 gets a start and he wins, but 18 doesn't get a start and somebody else wins. Are we talking 18's in second or 18 is buried? Let's see. Because if 18 uh, is in second, gotta... 18 passes him. Like this this 100%. weekend will be interesting. Be oh, who decided to have a triple crown to Indy? That just sounds like a death note for a it, lot of guys. It is. But... I love the dirt there. I don't know. Who, are you being serious? Yeah, I, I love Rutz. I think a I'm lot. A of, guy. I think a lot of. I think a lot of dudes are gonna hit the deck. It's uh, gonna be it's the gonna ruddiest, be shittiest. Kenny, Kenny's probably. Gonna that's, win. that's what I like though. Kenny's probably gonna win. The I last like two weeks of Rutz were amazing. That's why I liked it. It's okay. Yeah. You're gonna have the weekend after two in Seattle because it's gonna be a mother. Another manufacturer's inserts in. And then as soon as they did, it went right back to doing what his Japanese bikes were doing before, which is pushing the front, because now he's pushed the front last he, week, uh, and he pushed it twice this week. He was pushing week. it, like, in the chatter, if you can yeah. see, Yeah. Well, they look great in the heat race in the main. I think a lot of it had to well, do Well, when the track went away, when it counted. Yeah. Well, I think he was compensating a lot, too, with what was going on. It was his fucking hand. Here's the thing. Him and Tomac both look great in the heat race. Then you put him in the main... And they didn't do he shit. Well, Eli they also didn't get a start either. And right. Eli were going to do a lot of 2019 Eli. Yeah, and Eli also got caught by Anderson, got passed by Roxon. So I'm saying mental, he did a lot. He has did, a mental block with Barsha. He did a lot of 2019. Like, Eli had this habit, and I used to give him shit, and I'd get on Wyman's case about this all the time. My one critique of Eli is he had a bad habit back in the day of when he'd be coming through the pack, and if he couldn't make something happen quick, he'd get drawn into that guy's pace, and then he would just stall out. Because mm -hmm. mentally, 
he would get flustered that he couldn't pass them. Which is exactly what, what happened, happened last, last night. night. But you look at the way you rode in the heat race, and I'm like, oh, okay, that was... What place did he get? We'll get to him. Yeah, we'll get to him here. Uh, Roxon was third. Roxon doesn't seem happy they got third. No, he was no, he shouldn't be. But he, he was, was on the move. Yeah. He shouldn't be. So, yeah, he's, he, uh, he's still a guy that I say can rattle off a win here and there. Kenny, the get, Kenny the I still believe, gets a start. I don't care who's in second. I think Kenny wins. Because what Kenny did in Glendale, I think... The way he rode outside of the way Jet rode at Daytona was the mm-hmm. fastest I've seen anybody go this year in Florida Supercross. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. yeah. 94 and Malcolm Stewart both in the pack are unbelievable right now. Malcolm's <laughs> just continuing to I think Anderson was pretty good in the pack last night. But. True. So, um, Sexton's fourth. What do we think? Honestly, I don't know. I, I'm think... telling you he's got a mental block with Jet. Like, yes, he won there, and I'm going to go back, but I'm pretty sure he got the start, which, okay, fine. When he gets the start and he's ahead of him, that's fine. I don't like the pulling over thing that he's been doing. But can he pass him? I don't think so, man. I yeah, think that man. what happened in that main, Jay Coop did what Jay Coop, we'll get to him. Jay Coop will row the way Jay Coop does. Track broke down, got a little sketch to get out of the main line. I think Chase, because of not only the chassis issues, but his hand is getting better, but he still is not 100%. You still see he started watching it. them. He started making mistakes. He started facing shit. He started cross rutting, bouncing around, exacerbated the way that front end. And I honestly think by the halfway into that main, I think his hand fucking went numb. Because you looked at a lot of Could the be- way that bike was bouncing around because he was mistiming shit, couldn't get over stuff. I think his hand, honestly, I think you can accredit a lot of two to Jay Coop, the way Jay Coop wrote. All the credit in the world to him. But the what I saw in the heat race, I was like, okay, that is the Chase Sexton that I saw last year when he was winning all the when he was winning the heat races on the Honda, and then he gets to the main, and I'm like, oh my god. That's a, I mean, that's a real problem you have with these guys. It's like, yeah, in the heat race, dude, a lot but of. But Jay had nothing great. to do with the way Chase rode last. I'm just night. saying, a lot of them look great in the heats, and then you put them in the main, and here we are. Just like Jet, though, get a start. Those guys, get a start. that's the that's that is the big difference is getting a start. Because all these dudes, they get a start, they all can win. I wish I had time to really go back and look at it because it would be interesting to look at starting versus finishing position for these guys over the course of the year here and really see, like, Jet compared to everybody else. Those graphs that they do, like, verbal Yeah, yeah I mean, he's the, I don't know. He's well, still, Jet's only really had one Jet's race. Jet's the only one that's made it the furthest up. He's that's, only really, that's what I'm getting at. But he's only had one weekend, though, he's really had to come through the pack. The rest of the year, he hasn't really had to come through the pack. Right, which is yeah. why you put so much emphasis on getting a good start. Yeah. I think Jet's winning because Kevin Morantz is out there taking the whole shots. Oh, God. <laughs> Look, Jet, and it's part of it. He puts himself in good positions and stuff. Yeah. But a lot of these races, like, he's just, he's out front. Like, yeah. he doesn't have to worry about getting in the trash. Uh, Justin Cooper, fifth, and it, you sent it in the group chat last night, exactly what we talked about, get a start, learn to run that pace up front, and that's what he did. Ran, what was it, third for... 10 yeah, plus minutes. Yeah, he didn't really look out of control or anything. No. Either. I don't know if you call Jet a rookie this year because he's kind of sort of a rookie, but if outside of the 18, Justin Cooper's a rookie of the year for sure. Jay Coop, uh, uh, Jay mm-hmm. Coop did what Jay Coop does. He doesn't get too high, doesn't get too low. He's never going to go into the red. And we always give him shit about his 250 days where his race IQ was terrible when he'd have to come through the pack. But he can just focus on moving forward and literally just putting in laps and connecting the track the way he wants to instead of having to latch onto someone. That's what you get. Yeah. And I... I he went f- back and forth with Sexton twice, I think. And he was, making, back yeah, back. 100%. he was making it tough for Kenny there for a while, too. Mm-hmm. I firmly think that he continues to stay healthy through Supercross, and they get a good set of going outdoors. Jay Coop is going to get a lot of people issues outdoors. Yeah. He's going to be one of those guys that you're going to look up, and if he gets third in the points, you're like, hmm. Didn't see that shit coming. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I could see it coming, actually. I don't think he's going to win, obviously, but... I think he would have squeaked that title out that year against Jet, actually, if he didn't break his thumb. He, should, well, he was faster than Jet. Mm-hmm. Does the 32 ever win a 450 Supercross? Yeah, yeah. I can yeah. see it. For sure. Yeah. He's going to. Next year. Next year. Uh, Some, maybe. I don't even know, but sometime in his career here, he'll, he'll just, get a start. Just depends on I where mean, the chips are going to fall and who's... He's not easy to pass. Yep. He could win one of them. He could win one of them. Cooper Webb is historically really good at Indy, right? Uh, I don't know about he, that. He's on it. Ken, I mean, Ken, Ken, Ken won it last year. Ken, Ken, Roxon Roxon won, on it. Ken Roxon won all three of the races when they did the COVID cross, too. Ken won last year. I mean, I definitely think one more lap Barsha would have won that race, but still. Yeah, I mean, Barsha. Or, yeah, yeah. Kenny won that year, and then he won COVID cross. He won three, three rounds in a row, too. Swept Dominated. It. Swept it. Dominated that year. Uh, he's okay. He's top five, dude. Webb, 
I would yeah. love to see Jacob get a win this weekend. I think it'd be awesome. You know, that's something that has really kind of been slightly bugging me about uh, Eli Tomac and the way people talk about him is that they talk about, oh, he hasn't won anything. Well, he won a fucking main at one of the Triple Crowns, but because yeah. it wasn't the main, nobody gives him credit for it. And it's like, well, hang on a second. He got some fucking flames going as he was going over the finish line, so he's done something. I really I don't. Never. I really don't. And I feel weird, man, why I feel like I'm the Eli guy all of a sudden. Because I've never been You're the Eli, Eli guy. Now. I've never been the Eli guy. Well, he's one of the greats, so fucking respect him. Sure is. I don't like the fact that this narrative is going around <laughs> Eli, dude. He is getting so yep. much shit. They're like, oh, he's washed up. He's never going to do this. I'm I mean, this is his longest winless streak in years. Yeah, well, I mean, that's years what happens when you years. go through yeah, a major I mean, you injury. you take Jed out of this thing, though, and look at Daytona last week, and it was like, damn, these dudes are moving. Well, that's what they Well, that's what they said, is like, if you remove Jet, the race last week's really good. Yeah. Who are we talking about right now, by the way? We are on Jacob. to Jason Anderson in sixth, oh. which he came from a long way back, and the other thing that I thought was interesting, and I didn't, I saw he was riding at club. And, that's... and he's historically been a, a shitty East Coast guy. Like, mm-hmm. he's good in the dry. That's where he grew up. That's knows what he's doing. Desert. They said he had bought a house, or, or he's renting, or he's living in South Carolina right now, riding that shit over mm-hmm. there. Which is, which is interesting, because yeah. he bought a place in New Mexico and has a whole facility basically built out there. So it's interesting. He also has a house right on Huntington Beach. Well, yeah. That overlooks the ocean. So yeah. It's really weird for a moto dude to have a... Is it? He's flashy, though. Well, yeah, Scott I know. It's just weird, weird, though. He's not flashy. I mean, he also he, had a house right in the prime real estate in L.A. that he made a shitload of money on. Yeah. Too. He's not. He's no. But then he drives a. But then he drives a Prius. He's so. no dummy with his money. No. So, um, but, I mean, no dummy. Period. I guess he knows he sucks in the soft stuff. So what's he do? Mm-hmm. Goes packs, to the club. Packs his shit. Doesn't even pack his own shit. Packs up the wife, the kid. Got other baggage with him. Mm-hmm. Makes that commitment. So, um, I knew it showed last night. In my opinion. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, was he was a way good ride. Yeah, I was looking at the grid and I'm like, tenth, like here we go, another Jason Anderson, like give up halfway through the year kind of mm-hmm. thing. Mm. And I don't know, past Doctor E, past Barca, past a bunch of them. Yeah, and Doctor E got seventh, and that was a weird seventh for him. It's 2019 all over again, man. It was. It was. Uh, I got a shit start. I kind of moved forward, and then I just got passed by dude. Or I, I moved forward till I got to Barsha, and then I stalled out, and that was it. Which is yeah. crazy because you look at him all through time qualifying. You look at that heat race, and you're like, oh, okay. We're talking about number three. Right? three yeah. Right? yeah. Oh, like, there's there's some... a little bit of Arlington, but then, like I said, he pulled a 2019 Eli. He just fucking stalled out. There is something. Know, there's Weird. something going on there, whether it's with the bike or him physically. I think it's that we don't know because like. I mean, you just don't come back and run that intensity at that age with that much time off. But the thing is, is man, he's like he said too. He's so good in like the heat. Yeah, I'm fucking good in the first moto too, and I suck in the second moto. So I don't know, man. Maybe it's a bike setup thing, and it's not allowing him. It's causing him to grip harder, which is causing him to pump up, which is causing him not to ride as good in the main, because. I don't, I don't know what it is. It's, I, I, but, think it's just, I think it's just time off. Dude. But I do think, and you brought this up in the group chat last night. I, I was bringing up a lot of good shit. It sounds good. <laughs> I do think that it's getting to that point, man. Three kids, $20 million in the bank, house, wife, brain's in a different spot. I brought this up last week. I'll bring it up again this week. He's you just not there. three kids? Yeah. I didn't know he has three. I mean, this track right here... Yeah was a perfect shitball track that Eli Tomac would absolutely destroy. There's Michigan Dome <laughs> pissing away in Maine. I mean, at the, Tomac should have been running laps a second or two faster than everybody else last night on Usually this track. Usually he's a beast on this kind of shit. That is exactly it. And he couldn't do nothing last night. I didn't think he was good. It's just everybody else also is fucking amazing right now. No, that's, that's what I'm saying is time off, and these guys didn't have time off. Here, yeah. here's, a, here's a problem with all those statements. He just got second last week. And then the week before, Beast Mode showed up. I know. And so he's, it's still, like and those, he's still in fourth in the so points. Weird, but... So it's like those comments, like, dude, I just see a lot of 2019 Eli. But it's, it's like, like when company, you... he just came off an Achilles. But what did difference. he do last year? He yeah. won however many races. He was winning the title. He should have won the title mm-hmm. until that freak accident. Mm-hmm. And then to come back, and now we've got this. And I understand that there's a lag here because of being hurt. 
but at what point are we done with the lag of being off the bike and it's just this is the new norm for him well, i mean like he even said in the press conference he was like yeah like i just didn't i didn't commit to it like i was overthinking it I was so focused on that quad that it took my focus See, away from everything else. And this is, and that's, that's and what this is. is where I get into the three kids at home, twenty million in the bank, and you don't pull that quad. Yeah. Where Jet has, you know, all the money in the bank. Twenty million and in the bank. But he doesn't have, <laughs> no he doesn't have a wife and yeah. kids, so oh, yeah, he's just. Mean, I still don't think that he's making that much money. Yeah. yeah. Why? Look at all the. We're not going to get into that. It'd be too. Long. He probably grosses that. He probably doesn't nut that much yet. I don't, even, spend, I don't even. I don't even think he grosses that. Why do you think he doesn't make that much money? Because it's it. it we're not talking about that. I just have my I have my beliefs. I don't think he makes that much money. I don't know. Well, let's don't talk about it. No. Go for it. No, this is interesting. Save People it. like why, this kind of stuff. Why I don't? Save because, it for halftime. Yeah, yeah it's make a note. too much. Right. I just don't think he does. Hold on, let me make a note here. I'll cross off the MXGP because Justin didn't watch it. The halftime no, talk is, just, is interesting because to watch also on the broadcast they're talking about uh, intermission now. Yeah. I mean, obviously, I'm a hockey guy. I, actually, nobody even mentioned this yet, but the reason I'm wearing a suit is because I had an away game in Muskegon an hour and a half from here, so that's why I stopped by on the way home to join the show today. But uh, in hockey, you have intermissions, right? When, when you're at a, a fucking hockey game, when it's intermission time, you go take a leak, buy a hot dog, all the other crap you want to do. Well, in Supercross, you don't really have that. At least you didn't. Maybe now you do. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Like, in between LCQs is usually my intermission. I yeah. Guess you could say. All right, nobody's let's, like coined the term intermission. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's keep moving on here. So AP gets eighth. Anybody got anything? Nothing. Okay, uh, still my breakout rider of the year. Yeah, I still think he's probably laboring a little bit from last week's crash. Yeah, maybe. Uh, Christian Craig was like, yep, injury clause, I'm getting another surgery, keep paying me. That's interesting. interesting. Super interesting. Okay, so while we're on the injury you know, injury clause we're talking about, I, was, I wasn't on the show last week when the whole Forkner thing unfolded. So when you're Austin Forkner, or two weeks ago I guess it is now, and you have a clause in your contract that you have to be offered a 450 ride or at least a tryout or whatever that is, if he decides in his head that he's not done, where does it go from here for Austin Forkner? I think he just needs to reset, like Justin says. He needs to change teams. He needs to change he teams. Change. He, needs he, to change get, he needs to just say, fuck that clause, and he just needs to rebuild himself and restart somewhere else. And I think Rhino's going to tell him that. And I think Rhino's going to tell him that. I honestly, Love him uh, honestly, I don't think he takes that uh, that ride with Cowie, and I think that you see him on Club MX. An, in- an interesting 450 program. Club MX. Yeah, I don't think that either. Well, I heard Cody Shock's got an opening. I think he's a film Fuck, right we'll now. get to that. I'm so pissed. Uh, anyway, um, okay, so Stu 10th, Shane 11th. You know, it's really funny. I was listening to an interview with Shane, <laughs> and it's really funny how we went from, man, you know, got fourth place. I'm, I'm ready to be up there. See, now it's like, I'm just trying not to get laughed. <laughs> and it's like, dude. Said? Yeah. And I'm like, man, you are a great rider, dude. And I have zero issues with you. I, I it like was, it's crazy how it changed everything. But like that comment you made after getting fourth in the mud about being ready to be up there, like, bro, no, like we just gotta be it's a little a more realistic. Sport, we gotta be a little more realistic. Maybe so confidence for now. What you said now of like, hey, I'm just trying not to get lapped every week. Great, it, it I like that idea. It does make you wonder if he's healthy, like what he can do outdoors at least. I don't know. I always Probably about this. the same, to be honest. I always picked him to be more of a Supercross guy than an outdoor guy. Yeah, but he's gotten second and third in the points quite a few times in the 250s outdoors. I mean, I definitely agree. Like, he didn't battle for a title outdoors where he did in Supercross. Yeah, I'm going to guess he won an overall or two. But... So, like, I mean, I don't know. Like, I just wonder, like, dude, he's still doing, he's still killing it. Like, Shane's having a good, just end of his career 450s rides. Yeah, as yeah. long as he's got a good financial advisor, he's fine. Your mic's been muted this whole fucking time. Are you shitting me? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Brutal. <laughs> so nobody heard a fucking word I said. Well, I mean, you're yelling, right? It's uh, maybe. It was, maybe I have to pull it off the cameras. Who knows? I muted it because you were fucking sitting there working on it when we started the show. Oh my this god. This fucking. Guy, I know, dude. dude. I fucking know. That's yeah, what. Are we gonna restart? Fine. No. Yeah, let's restart. <laughs> we're we're an hour into this. Let's oh restart the whole god, thing. Dude. 
This reminds me of our first show. Happy birthday, Cole. Hey, <laughs> I put the, it's fine. I'll line it up. We'll just pull the audio off the cameras to start the show for We're the good. first hour. We're and good. then... We're good. I'll do, it's fine. Overlap. It's no big deal. It's no big deal. I hope you can work your magic. Uh, do, dude, you know what? Well, I was, was going to tell that whole story about my birthday and it's going to be dead silent. <laughs> <laughs> Right, everybody and like, why does the audio suck for the first yeah, hour? Yeah, I'm going to talk shit about your grips. Nobody's going to hear it. It's fine. It's fine. Good so, anyway. Hey, rolling. maybe next time, just get your mic situated before the show starts. Uh, hey, how do you like your grips, Cole? Are you a half waffle guy? Oh my god! Oh, god. Here we go. We're we're back going back to this. Oh, Can we just get through right. the 450s oh, here? Oh my god! We already went through this last week. Shit. AC 12. AC is just man. He's just. Do hey, you you're talking him? about delaying the inevitable with Jet. He's delaying the yeah, inevitable. He's retired retirement. after this yeah. year. I almost feel bad about it, honestly. I don't, man. I'm just glad he's out there. He's healthy. He's riding. We get to see him. Because here's the thing: the difference with the, right now compared to the last couple of years is we know what's going to happen at the end of this year. Finally, you yeah. did say kind of the quiet part out loud on Paul. Did you listen to it? Uh, no. We were just kind of talking about how Connor was in the garage during his growth spurt and how his oh, training and yes. stuff was mismanaged. Yes. Yeah, because he was a freaking twig. He kind of, he kind of threw Alden under the bus yeah, there, he which was interesting. Kind of ruined his career, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. I think I agree, especially that dude, that shoulder injury, a collarbone, or what it was back in Toronto. Well, yeah, he was just grinding his ass off, I mean, his growth, not eating properly. Well, he said that shit. Uh-huh. And That's and all and Coach Rob's stuff right there. Well, eh? that, well, that was because uh, what's his nuts was on there, uh, Randy Lawrence, and talking about his Randy. kid grow, going through a growth spurt, and like, man, he just needs to take a nap. Well, and, here, and here's the <laughs> eat other a thing. sandwich and take a nap. And, and here's then, the other yep. thing too that's really. Uh, I mean, you can go back in retrospect, but really <clears throat> concerning about that whole thing. So at that time, obviously, it was AC, RV, and Jake. Tyler had not gotten to that program yet. Tyler Ratchet, for anybody. Jake Weimer? Know. Yeah, it was Weimer, RV, and AC. AC. And obviously, RV was on top of the world. He was better than everybody in the world at that time. Jake was a solid 450 guy, and AC was like the next big thing. The problem with everything you're saying that makes this even worse now, if people really want to dig into it, there's video of them training, and Alden just fucking making fun of that AC the whole entire time for being a pipsqueak. Just talking about, oh yeah, he's like, like yeah, you're just thin, like this, whatever, you gotta put some meat on that. Like, he's just scolding him for how small he well, is, and it's like, let him have oh, a I don't know, dude. he's 16 years old, maybe like 100 pounds, just came off a super mini, mm-hmm. and Alden yeah. just going to town, and it's like, and Coach Rob probably has already heard all this shit before, he knows about it, and it doesn't make any, it doesn't make it better that RV and Jake are in the background, like, <laughs> Like, dude, if what? If you're the, squeak, uh, let the man have a steak. I'm like, dude, this kid literally just wrecked his fucking shoulder, and y'all are making fun of him in the weight room. Like, he's 16. RV, you were fat when you were that age. What are you mm-hmm. talking about? Cole, when was your last growth spurt? 10 years you ago. You were little until like 16. I don't 16? know. My belly had fucking been growing. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I don't really know. I mean, I didn't really keep track of it. I'm not, I don't know. I and you probably, and Tristan Wathen were hanging out. I don't, yeah, whenever. Wow. I haven't heard that name in a long time. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's not good into that. I haven't seen him in forever, but he was a great kid back then. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think. I don't know, probably when I was riding. I was pretty small when I first got on a 250F, so that was probably... I mean, I rode a 450, I was like 130 pounds. So, you, like, you got on 250 So, it was 16. probably 2011-ish. I rode a 250 for the first year with a lowering link on it. Yeah, you were little when you got when you got on big bikes. You were little. I remember. I was pretty little. I don't know. I didn't grow. I guess shit ton, but hmm. I was a late growth spurt guy myself. Uh, yeah. So you see guys that are growing like an AC is this example, but not just those guys, but like the up and coming guys now. And it's like, well, you got to kind of time it with. Well, a perfect guy to look at right now, and it's going to be interesting to see is how that growth spurt that Drew Adams just had. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. So that'll be. Interesting. Can we just make him not awkward on the fucking podium anymore? Oh, he's fifteen. <laughs> Come on, Truman. Let's it go. reminds me a lot of March Banks when he was, because uh, I remember March Banks went through the same thing because yeah. we uh, we used to race him a lot on Super Minis. Like he was giant. Then he got on a 250F and he was ginormous. He was like, yeah, oh, yeah. Shit. So I don't know. That's just, I guess the girl's first thing didn't really bother me. I'm not an elite athlete. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Pretty damn close. Yeah. I bet. I if, so fans at home, I bet you if. No, let's give them a look. Are you going to get out? You start blushing. Yeah. I, bet yeah. you yeah. Yeah. I don't know where, don't know where oh, you're going. Oh, they can hear you now. I bet if you gave. Cole a month to get in okay shape that he could go out there and burn a, a qualifying lap damn near into the night show. Guarantee it right I now. mean, Coach Rob thought he had not on a Supercross track. I have no head. desire to get anywhere near a Supercross track. Oh, dude, Matt Lyman is going to... He's going to get on this video and he's just going to... 
What's he gonna say? Uh, I don't know, man. Like, I just I should tell the whole group. We're like, you know what? I'm gonna tell everybody. I'm gonna tell Matt, Tommy, D. Like Tom said, the coal could burn a lot. Yeah, and if Matt says that, I'll say, hey, look at this picture from BCMC oh, when you were in the A class and I was in the B and you had nothing for me. You were right. fast there, I remember. <sighs> um, <sighs> all right, let's rip through the rest of these. Well, well hey, look, oh, hang on, guess what? Oh, Jesus Christ. I'll get in shape, tell Coach Rob to step up with a free 30-day program. This is my Why program. don't you text him? This, yeah, I was talking to him like, yesterday. Like, do you want his number? So I'll we need to have him you. on the... So this, I think, would be cool. We're going off topic here. Chai. I think it would be cool to do his program and then have him on the show once a month to do, like, an accountability check-in. Okay. So he can rip like me that. a new ass or he can tell Are me... Are you going to come in the summer then? Because... You know, if he steps up and you know, <laughs> that's a program, then this you know what, we'll a, figure something out. This dude's got a, a nice cushy job at Cowie now, and now he's asking for a free program? I know, what, what is, is this? this all about? I believe what is this? 29 years old, let's go. What is I make this? 20 bucks an hour. <laughs> what is that? I make 20 this? bucks an hour. What 20 bucks an hour. That's, that's $20 more an hour than me and Tom make. I don't even want to hear about it right now. I don't even want to hear about it right now. Shit. 21, including over. That was... Including over. That was super depressing, what you guys just did there. Well, we're business owners, so in this phase of business, you don't pay yourself very much. Look, man, I negative, know all about that negative, shit. Negative money over hey, here. Hey, hey, I was around owning a business before both y'all were. I know all about it. Negative money over kinda. here. Kinda. What do you mean, kinda? Well, I mean, you had oh, your dad involved. They're going to fight. Awesome They're going to fight. No, we're not going to fight. Me and Tom we were cool. talking about fine. fighting I'm before the show. Oh, I would man. fight him, and I'd, I'd give him a hug afterwards. And uh, I'd, you know, kiss him right. on the forehead. <laughs> <laughs> kiss him on the forehead. Hey, so real quick, before we move on from Alden, so one thing <laughs> I thought about before, I don't care if this goes 12 hours. It mean shit to me. Well, I do. But uh, so we think about, like, uh, guys that shouldn't be forced to go to the 450 ride, and Jake Weimer was unbelievable on 250 for PC. Like, Do that year he won the title? Seven, eight, whatever. That, no, not even that. It was, like, later than that. 2010. Oh, yeah. fucking believable And then he goes to 450, and Jake who? Right? Weimer fucking who? Yeah, it hurt because your teammates RV, and RV just wins yeah, everything. Yeah, and Kawasaki's just like, hey, you're riding this dude's setup, so. And Jake was like, I don't ride like RV. Yeah, I think if he would have got off that team, he, he would have had a different trajectory. In the 450s? 100%. Mm. Yeah, I think Jake would have been a podium guy all the time. Yeah. On the 250, he was so good. Yeah, I think if he he didn't like that bike, he was pretty vocal about it, he would have got off that cow and went somewhere else. Jake was pretty much good his entire career of riding a dirt bike because he was a badass as an amateur, too. So, Cole, you're a team VRM, VRM guy right now, which puts you on a 450, but when you want to haul ass, do you prefer a 450, or are you a 250 guy still? Well, I haven't, Cole doesn't two, rev. I haven't ridden a 250 since probably Cole, I was... Cole don't rev. 15, I don't know. Really? I, yeah. That I, last Honda? Uh, when I went to Loretto's, that was a 450. Cole, you should yeah, have maybe gotten out of 350. No, so, like, here's my thing. I didn't like revving the bike because I knew if I blew the bike up, my dad didn't have the money to fix that, and I'd be out all summer. Big time. Yeah. Shout out. Yeah, so... I'm going to go kart today, too, by the way. Um... Was he the fourth fastest? No, he made one. He made one practice session and was like, "Ah, this shit's too fucking rough." <laughs> <laughs> um. Anyway, uh, two fifty. Like I just remember, like bouncing off the rev and those guys riding it like that. I was like, I "Blow this thing up! I don't have a bike all summer." You mean like Dylan Finley? Yeah, but those guys had money. But uh, <laughs> those guys had money. they did. Um. Yeah, dude. It's like. So when I got a 450, it was just like, I ride this thing like I do my 250, but it's there. Everything was like right there. I liked having mm. the power there. Like if I got in trouble, just kick it a little bit, or, you know, if I wanted to hit a jump, just bop, get right So like there. everybody riding a 450 at any point in their career? A hundred percent. Like, I don't know. I just, the way my power and the way my mind is, I just like 450 better. I don't know. Hmm. All right. Uh, let's, let's bang the rest of this out here. Uh, so Colt, Colt Nichols makes a... Makes her, his Speaking return. Speaking of banging out, good looking dude. Yeah, thirteenth. Uh, Benny fourteenth. So Weird. good job for the tall guy. Good job for the beta team. Doesn't need to race first main. For beta. No, Benny's been in a couple. Hmm. Uh, but first, oh, yeah, first right. one for Colt. The, be, the beta looks better. Look, good beta thing Benny better. doesn't have to race, man. You know he's got all that money. Yeah. Tap and tap you. Uh, <laughs> Mich <laughs> Michigan's own Mitchell Harrison, fifteenth. Uh, yeah, definitely. Hey, what do you know about that program? You so I, I, I haven't talked to him for a while. I did not honestly think he would transition well to a four fifty. Not that he's not like a smooth rider, but like he just never rode four fifties growing up. But he's gonna be on that four fifty in Canada, so. Pleased to see it. He's made quite a bit of man. Yeah, I mean, he's, other than, you know, when he's not looping it, like Tyler Bowers. Yeah, I mean, straight out of the heat last night. Jesus. Wait a minute, looping it was Marshall Welton, wasn't it? No, like, there's a video oh, of him in A2 where he back. loops oh, it, like okay. Bowers. Years back. Yeah. 
Yeah, and then, oh, dude, he, it, was, it was bad. It was Bowers. Whoopsie. It was Bowers. It reminded me of Bowers. All right. Anyway. Uh, Michigan zone. Michigan zone. Anthony Bardone comes over, rides the oh, Suzuki. Dude. Suzuki. Oh, the here we go. Fantasy. Oh. Fantasy. I would have I would have fucking picked him. <laughs> I'm also Would I'm you? hundred percent. I'm also fine don't you I mean, it's a little weird, right, that he I understand with the break he'd want to go back home. But like don't you think they would have him just like stationed in California for all the supercross? Like you why did think... he go back home to France? I don't know. Well because he's making a name for himself. But I don't well, think he, but he's not racing in France though, like so The other side of it is I don't know I don't know shit about this guy, but when you come to America as a visitor you can't stay very long. Right? There's a 180 day max, and then you gotta get back to where the fucking came from. Unless you walk over the border, like they're getting shipped Maybe over. He goes right there, now. back, dips a toe in, and comes back. Yeah, it's kind of <laughs> what you have to do. Our goalie's from our goalie uh, currently is from England, so uh, I'm hearing all about, all about this again right now. Visa stuff. Yeah. Um. Let's see here. Chiz is 17th. Didn't even realize Chiz was in the main. Norin. Uh, this is what Papa Max Fantasy does to you. Yep. Norin is. You 18th. just don't give a shit anymore. Does Chiz keep going? I think yeah, uh, Chiz is going to race till he's like 45. Yeah, I mean, that's how he's making his money. Yeah, uh, <laughs> he's not really doing anything else. Tanty, 19. And Tanty. God, I hope he rides outdoors. God, that crash in the whoops of Australia, hey? Yeah. Oh, dude, his uh, his preseason record. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, that's what you're talking about. Yeah. Grant Harlan, 20th. First main back since getting hurt at MXO. And we didn't see him at 23 on his bike. Yeah. Oh, wow. And John Short, 21st. And Looked then, amazing in the LC. Looked camera. amazing. And then. Dylan. Somebody told me collarbone. God, I hope not. Is it? I don't know. But uh, somebody caught the crash in the bottom corner of the... the God, I hope not, man. He's got to be healthy for outdoors. And I just said, I hope he's good for that. God. If it's a collarbone, then that's best case then, because... Yeah, played around. Look, man, if you, you look, bro, if it's a, hey, here's what I'll say. I understand he's having his best Supercross season to date. If it is a collarbone, bro, just take the next couple weeks off. Go into the break. Come back and use Rutherford. Yeah, make some money in SMA. I don't, I don't need you to race Indy, St. Louis, and Seattle. Yeah, just stay out of Indy. Is Indy east or west? East. So the next, so this is the last east round, and then Seattle, obviously, and then St. Louis will go for west. Well, we're not on the 250s yet, but I'm bummed to hear it for Cody Shock. Yeah, we're going to get into that. I'm heated right now. All right, and that's your 450 race recap. Yeah, brought, to you, brought to you by yeah, our friends at uh, Gutterworks. Always well hung, just like Cameron Sack, dude. Link in the description down Sackers. below. If anybody needs um, uh, any sort of gutters or exterior services, in the 